Hi guys, today we will make my sofrito recipe. I learned this recipe from my wonderful mother-in-law. I've been using this for years and I use this on most of my meats, some of my rices, my beans. I use this so much and I want to teach you how to do it. You want to know how I do sofrito? Ven y hazlo con su. The garlic is an option. You could use fresh or minced garlic. Then first thing I do is I wash all of my vegetables. I take the seeds out of all the peppers and I cut everything into quarters. After that, just blend everything together. I added a little bit of apple cider vinegar just so the machine starts running easily. But then just blend until you add all the ingredients. If you do this amount that I do, it depends on where you live, but I spent like about $5 just buying the ingredients that I needed for this amount of sofrito. For somebody that doesn't cook a lot, this will last them a really long time. I have a big family. We cook every day and we cook a lot. So for me, I do a lot of bottles that will last me between six to eight months. You will see how many I do at the end of the video. And let me tell you, this is a lifesaver, time saver. And this is so great um, because you don't need to be cutting vegetables because you already have everything into this sofrito. For this recipe, it freezes so well. If you want to double the amount, you double it. If you want to cut it in half, you cut it in half. This is very versatile. The Spanish olives are totally optional. I use them because my mother-in-law was the one that taught me how to do the sofrito and she uses it. So if she uses it and it's good, I use it too. I add a little bit of salt to mine, but if you don't want to, you could leave it out and just adjust it at the time of cooking. If you have different batches like I usually do, just mix it together and then just bottle it however you want. Because I put this in the freezer, what I usually do is when I'm about to finish one bottle, I take the other one out of the freezer and move it into the refrigerator. This is how much you get out of this mixture that I made. But this is the amount that I usually do every time I do sofrito. Thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Follow me on Facebook on Aslo Consu and subscribe. Thank you.